How's it going, everyone? This is China Connor, and you're watching some more of my narrated OS Wi-Fi Bell videos. Now, this match right here is against my brother Brett and his legendary Pokemon. Now, the rules are a little bit weird here. I see him not using any EV chain Pokemon, because that's what he told me, and he expects me to not have any EV chain Pokemon. And so, I did the best I could on that. Um, the only Pokemon that I brought were EV chain were um, my Mewtwo, Zagarde, Zekom, and Genesect. Alright, so let's begin here. Um, I begin with my Mewtwo as a league. I think Mewtwo is a good answer just because I have a lot of coverage against his whole team, except for Rangers. So at the beginning of the match here, I withdraw Mewtwo for now and I go into Lockheos, expecting him to have Earthquake and he makes great play, goes for the Sword Dance instead. Um, that's a good play right there. I would have done the same if I were the Rangers, but since I'm in here, I'm going to go for that Mega Evolution. Just hit him with a Surf. Hopefully we can take him out. But he barely holds on, and I see him going for a rock slide there, and that does over half. So you see that Lachios and its mega form is a little bit bulky there. All right, so we take out like this. That's a good sign there. Um, but I do have to face quite a few threats. The first one being Mega Rayquaza. Uh, He's going to go Mega right here in my face. I'm like, oh crap, he's just going to go for that Dragon Pulse. Or a Dragon's Ascent move, which is the brand new move introduced in Oris. Dragon's Ascent is very strong. Here I go for Draco Meteor. I was really surprised that I expect him. I don't have any EVs on this watch list. But I missed the Draco Meteor. Had I hit it, I was probably taking out the Rayquaza, but no, it's the opposite way around here. And now I have to bring in my Mega, no, Primo Kyogre, and just get that big Primo Stone activated and just go for an Ice Beam. Now, with the experience I had facing a Gaster Quasar, I know I can live a Dragon's Ascent. Because that's what he's going to go for, and I I think I bowed a Rayquaza before I lived it. So here I do live it here. This is good news. Um, the downside of going for a Dragon's Ascent is your defenses are lowered. So I I don't know, because Ice Beam is four times effective against Rayquaza, so the defense Lowering there didn't matter. All right, so Rayquaza is out, but unfortunately for me, this gives my brother a good chance to bring in his primo Groudon. Now, Groudon has the ability of uh, Gosselet Land, Gosselet Land, whatever it's called, I don't care. Uh, that will make Surf immune to the Groudon. So the only move I have to go for is Ice Beam. Now, I do dodge the Precipial Blades. That's really awesome. I can get a little bit more damage onto the Groudon. And here he finally goes for that uh, Precipial Blades attack. Now, because of the, the Desolate Land ability, I cannot go for an Origin Pulse. Because that's a War type move. And like I said, it's not going to work. Now, um, since. Groudon is at low health. I thought I could bring in my Zygarde for the first time and go for that extreme speed. I could have gone for an Outrage, but you know, why not just go for a extreme speed? Just, I don't want to waste a move. I think the only move that would be wasted on would be extreme speed. Because I'm not going to use extreme speed that much in this battle. I'm not even going to use Zygarde that much anyway, so. Anyway, so, all that aside, um, Deoxys is coming in here at speed form too, so um, I'm not expecting to outspeed this guy right here. I do dodge a Psycho Boost as I switch in, but he goes for it again, and since I'm Steel type, I'm going to dodge that really well. Well, not really dodge it, but like resist it quite comfortably, and I go for Rock Polish. And so that makes it so I'm faster than the Abundance, the Deoxys. That's what his nickname is, Abundance. Um, and I take him out, so hooray. Uh, Reshiro comes back in for the first time in this match, and I don't really have an 
answer to him. I, like, I can't really switch out and have someone take a fusion flare. So we're going to go ahead and just put a little bit of chip damage onto the rush ram. And so this way I can bring in my second arm and uh, hopefully we can go for an outrage. But instead of doing that, I actually go for a bolt switch expecting him to switch because the outrage is obvious. So I just go for a bolt switch and that's not going to work out too well there, but this will give me a good opportunity to bring in Mewtwo again and just go for a side strike. But the downside of all that is, well, I have to take a Dragon Breath, and Dragon Breath has a good chance of a paralysis. So, uh, fortunately, I don't get paralyzed, and we're going to take out uh, the Rush Ram there with a side strike attack. So this is going to work out great. He brings in his own Mewtwo, and just for that, I have Shadow Ball. Now, I'm not expecting it to take it out, really, but you know what? It's great. I can just go for that Shadow Ball, and I can live an Ice Beam. Uh, yeah, Ice Beam isn't going to do much to my own Mewtwo, and we're going to finish him off with a Flamethrower. So that's a great match. It was kind of quick, but what a fun match that was. So thank you my brother there for that awesome match and I am out of battle videos for now so I think next week I'm going to get up my EV training guide for Oris as well as a leveling up guide so for the next week expect tutorials and if you like this video be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys all next week hope you all enjoyed bye now